if you're a young guy in your 20s or 30s and you feel a little bit lost, I know how you feel. There's times where you're not sure what step you need to take in your life and what you need to do to get to where you want to get to. You might have big ambitions. You want to be a millionaire. You want to get yourself the best looking girl in your area, whatever you want, yeah? But you might have some kind of doubt on how to get there. So I want to talk to you about how you can overcome self-doubt in a very, very easy way. And to be honest, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm this perfect guy. There are times in my life where I've doubted certain things, but I've always been someone that's had confidence and people around me to help me get to where I want to get to. So I want to break down a few things for you on what you need to do, especially if you feel like you're struggling right now. You don't need money to get this going. You don't need any fancy car. You don't need a bunch of friends. You ain't got to have like a big personality. You just need to show up every single day and I'm going to show you how. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is hit the, whoops, hit the gym and I'm being deadly serious. Your body is going to be the start of everything. If you get your body right, your mind will follow. So physically, you need to get yourself in the best possible shape. I'm not saying you need to become Hulk Hogan, The Rock. You, don't, you ain't got to become this huge bodybuilder, but you do need to hit the gym a minimum of three days a week, okay? Three days a week. And what should you do in the gym? Okay, I'm going to keep it so simple here. Cardio. Weights. Start simple. Stop trying to become someone you're not. Stop trying to be Ronnie Coleman. Start simple. Get your cardio in. 10,000 steps a day, one or two runs a week, get your 5k time, get a 10k in every now and then and lift heavy shit and put it back down at least three to four days a week, okay? Because what we need to do is we need to keep our body fat in an ideal range. Ideally, you want to be anywhere from 10 to 18% and even 18 is too high, but I've just put that there because some people are going to struggle to get even below 18. If you're going above 18, unfortunately, you need to go do some work ASAP. So that's the very first step. It's step number two, especially in the world we're in right now, you need to get outside and socialize. And I don't just mean online. So what does that look like for you? It could be martial arts club. When I say that, I mean, you could literally go to jujitsu, kickboxing, Muay Thai, boxing. I chose Muay Thai. I love Muay Thai. I like kickboxing. I like boxing. But Muay Thai for me was just the one, okay? So join the martial arts club, learn grappling, do something. But you need to get around other men that are just hungry to, to achieve stuff, okay? Physical achievements, even a running club. But you need to do something, yeah? Join a martial arts club is my advice. It's going to make a huge difference to how you feel. And it's also going to play into what you've been doing in the gym because now you're going to feel strong. When you feel strong, there's a level of confidence that you have as a man. You walk around with a pep in your step because you're like, yeah, I can do this shit, bro. And that's how you want to feel. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now, as you do this, you're going to and obviously meet more people, which means we need to talk to more people and you need to start to lean on people in your circle. Okay, so... I'm going to leave, I'm going to write this in a simple way. And I'm just going to say, you need to open up. And I'm not saying you got to go out there and pour your heart out to your friends and stuff, but you have to be real with the people around you, especially when you have doubts. Like, look, all right, my camera died halfway through that. But as I was saying, open up. It's very, very, very important. I don't, I don't mean in some kind of emotional wrecking ball type of way. I just mean in a way that is actually honest and, and real to you. And if you've got self-doubts, you need to start to network with people that can show you how to overcome those self-doubts in a way that makes you feel more confident. And that's really the key here. And then one more thing I would say, and this is something that a lot of people avoid or they, they don't want to do, and it is mentorship, okay? Uh, and when I say mentorship, I want you to think of it like this. What doubt do you have right now? Who's in a position that you want to be in? And how can you get help to achieve what they've achieved? And mentorship is in many forms. You can actually say that your PT or your online coach is your mentor because they're helping you achieve a physical transformation that you've never achieved. Your martial arts head coach, if you decide I want more one-to-one -one coaching, mentorship, if it's financial, hey, there's someone that is making 10 grand a month and you want to make 10 grand a month, 
you pay that person a little bit of money and you find out how the hell can I do what they do, okay? Because a lot of guys out there are just stuck in jobs they hate, they're doing things that they don't like, they're running around in circles every day and their life isn't making any progress. Year on year, they're in the same exact position. I don't know about you, but I mentally can't be in the same position year on year. My mind would just explode, if I'm being honest. So um, mentorship is one of the, the most important factors here. And that's really going to help you overcome that self-doubt because when you stick to the promises that you make to yourself and you make an investment, accountability has been shown to improve your chances of success by 85%. So you do the work and you make it happen. All right. So if you're struggling with self-doubt, just do these things. I promise you, it's very simple. Your life will change. And I'm going to make sure I'm getting more consistent on this channel with just raw, honest videos. It's not always going to be about health and fitness. It's just going to be about life because I'm living life and I want to share with you the life that I'm living, which is basic, simple, but it's enjoyable because I'm a basic guy and I like to keep things simple. All right. So if you're struggling with your health, your fitness, I have shut down the Spectrum Fit Fitness Coaching Program, but we are going to be launching some type of mentorship in the next six months. It's not just going to be about fitness. It's going to be about helping people just become more confident and I'm, I don't want to call it life coaching because I'm not a licensed professional life coach but we are going to put something together that's really going to help people overcome their self-doubt it's going to involve fitness nutrition but also something to do 